complete rosters for me during the break there. It's kind of hard to get from one side of the gym down the steps and through the lobby and down to the other side and get all that stuff in between games and keep the broadcast going. So anything like that is really helpful, and I appreciate him being willing to do that. So thanks a lot to Grayson for the help there. Uh, but anyway, we're getting you ready for boys hoops coming up in just a couple of moments. It's the model Blue Devils taking on the Gordon Central Warriors. Let's start talking about the matchup a little bit here. The model Blue Devils this season, 16-4. and four. They're 8-2 and two in region play. They are. They lost their last game. That was a week ago on Friday up at North Murray. They lost that game by a final score of 66 to 55 up at North Murray, and that ended a 10-game win streak that started on the 28th of December. The last game before that that Model had lost was the championship game in the Christmas tournament. So it had been a long time since they tasted defeat. And so tonight they come out a week later and want to get that bitter taste out of their mouth against the team they've already beaten one time this year, the Gordon Central Warriors. Right now, Model and North Murray are tied in the number one spot in terms of the region in 7AA, and it's an interesting situation that could shake out at the end of the year, and I think most people that follows the region believes this is what it's going to come down to, but North, um, North Murray has two games left against Gordon Central and Murray, and they would also have to have a coin flip against Model to be the top seed. So the same in reverse. Model and North Murray could come down to a, a, a coin toss in terms of who ends up with a top seed and would host the region tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. So we'll see what happens with that. But first things first, you got to control the controllables and take care of business down the line in the regular season. And that's certainly, I would imagine, what Coach Travis has been preaching all week long is like, look, the only thing we can do is control what we control, and that's get out there and play hard as a team and win the remaining couple of games of the basketball season, and the rest of the stuff is going to take care of itself. So that's the name of the game. But, again, model 16-4, and 8-2, and two, tied for the top spot of the region with North Murray. They split the season series is how that would shake out. Gordon Central so far this season, they've had kind of mixed results. They're 10-10 ten and 10 on the year. They're 3-7 and seven in region play. They've lost their last couple of games, so they're looking to try to get back in the win column tonight, try to steal one on the road here against the Model Blue Devils. They average about 62 points a game, give up about 60 points a game, and they would lose to Model in the only meeting they've had this season up at Gordon Central. The final score in that one was 71-46, to 46, so Model was able to take care of business there. The last Last game for Gordon Central. Wow. North Murray would beat them 116 to 50 was the final score. That was on Tuesday up in Chatsworth at North Murray. And so talk about wanting to get the, the bad taste out of your mouth. Uh, certainly that's one of those things that Gordon Central would love to put behind them here tonight at Model High School. So looking forward to this matchup coming up. Again, it's the Model Blue Devils and the Gordon Central Warriors here inside of Woodard Gymnasium at Model High School. And we're glad you're with us for coverage here on WLAQ AM 1410, 96.9 FM and 14, um, WLAQ1410.com, also the live YouTube stream. Well, let's send it back to the studio for another timeout. And again, taking a lot of breaks here because we had an extended period in between games of 25 minutes rather than the typical 15 minutes because of it being senior night. So a lot of calls for celebration tonight. And we'll talk about the seniors as we go along throughout the broadcast here tonight. But a three-minute timeout. We're back on WLAQ in just a few minutes. Northwest Georgia Media would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of this year's live stream. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialist. We would also like to acknowledge those who have made contributions to support this year's live stream. If you would like to support live streaming Blue Devil Basketball, please consider making a donation by scanning the QR code that's on your screen now. Or if you're a business and would like to advertise with Northwest Georgia Media, or if you would just like information on our company, please send an email to info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. 
Thank you for your support. The most affordable bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused, that's what you can expect at GHC. Apply today at highlands.edu. Gymnasium. We're on the Model High School campus tonight for live high school basketball action on WLAQ, presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, 96.9 FM, 1410 AM, WLAQ1410.com. And we're really excited about this matchup. The Model Blue Devils hosting the Gordon Central Warriors. This is the last regular season home game of the year. Regular season wraps up again on Tuesday. Uh, over at Rotmart, 7.30, boys will tip off 6 o'clock girls game, and we'll have... ...on this basketball team, and of course, Camden Oswald, Oswald excuse me, is a senior on this team. Number 22, Bo Couch. You got Jaquinis Hur, Jack Robinson, and Joey Samples. And we certainly would be remiss if we didn't mention the two senior managers on the basketball team. And it's, again, you just can't even quantify what kind of a contribution those guys have and what role they have in helping the team along. But Colton Binion and then also Caden Downs, the managers of the model basketball team. And we've got a minute and 24 seconds until we give you the starting lineups and get things ready to roll inside Woodard Gymnasium. But we'll go ahead and tell you that the region tournament is coming up. That's going to be next up after the games on Rockmart and or at Rockmart rather and the region tournament for 7AA this year is going to start on February the 13th and run through the 18th and the week before that is when the 7A Division I tournament starts so they're kind of staggered a little bit and then you'll get ready for the state tournament to begin shortly after that so it's all here folks the regular season is winding down and it's going to be tournament basketball time which is the best time of the year. It's kind of bittersweet because you start to see the season coming to a close, but at the same time, it doesn't get any better than when the games have so much gravity and meaning as they have when you get in to tournament time. And I think both the model teams this year have an opportunity to do well in the region and then state tournaments right after that. So really looking forward to that. Coming up, we'll have radio coverage for you on WLAQ. Always excited about that. Well, let's give you the starting lineups here for the teams tonight. And again, we're just super glad to bring you basketball coverage here on WLAQ. And we're going to start with the visiting Gordon Central Warriors basketball team. They made a really splash higher in, teams of their football, in terms of their football team here recently. They hired the coach from 
Collins Hill. He's coming over to lead that that uh, football team. And I know we're talking basketball tonight, but that was some news that came out of Gordon Central. Ladies recently, and gentlemen, and I know the starting really lineup for our for final fans, game of the evening. The starting lineup here for Wearing the blue jerseys with white numbers. The starting lineup for the visiting Gordon Central Warriors. Number double zero, Seth Haygood. Number three, Mac McDaniel. Number five, Logan Curtis. Number 23, DJ Fleetwood. And number 32, Peyton Chastain. And now, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the starting lineups for your homestanding model Blue Devils. Starting at guard, the six foot, one inch junior, number 10, Jaden Hames. Starting at guard, the five foot, nine inch sophomore, number 11, Stevie Dallas. Starting at guard, the five foot, nine inch sophomore, number 21, Noah Travis. Starting at forward, the six foot, six inch senior, number 25, Jaquinis Hurd. And starting at center, the six foot, 10 inch junior, number 33, Jeremiah Hurd. Inside the gym here at Model High School Woodard Gymnasium. Inside the circle already ready to try to tip this thing off against the Blue Devils for Gordon Central is going to be DJ Fleetwood, Fleetwood rather, and visiting tonight, Gordon Central wearing their blue uniforms with light, white letters and numbers. Model Blue Devils are in their home whites with black letters and numbers with blue trim, and it is time to go. It's time for the ball game. Ball's in the air. We have the tip. It's going to go to the Blue Devils. Jaquinis Hurd wins the tip, gets it to Dallas. Dallas up top with it. On to Jaquinis Hurd, sends it around to Noah Travis. On to Stevie Dallas, over to Jaden Hames. They go back to Jaquinis Hurd. Just underway here, Blue Devils and Warriors playing tonight in our boys' varsity game. There's Noah Travis for three. That's off the side of the rim. A one-and-done trip for the Blue Devils. McDaniel tosses it over to Curtis, and they'll bring it back the other side of the floor, working from left to right. Warriors with a basketball, a big-time block from Jeremiah's Hurd. As going up the shoot was Logan Curtis. Ball was batted out of bounds, so it stays with the Warriors. But that's the kind of block that'll hurt your feelings. Curtis is going to send it in motion. McDaniel's got it at the top of the key. Dribbles off to the right wing side. They go up top. Just underway here between Model and Gordon Central. Ball stolen away. Noah Travis comes out with it. Sends it on to Stevie Dallas. Now to the left wing side. Hames for three. That caroms off the rim. Rebound's going to go to Gordon Central and DJ Fleetwood. Warriors work it back the other way. McDaniel has it. Puts up the three-point shot. That's strong off the back of the rim. Jaquinis Hurd is there for the rebound. Sends it down to Noah Travis across the center court stripe. Lob underneath to Jeremiah. Jeremiah's Hurd goes up, tries to bank it in. Doesn't get the first shot. Gets another one off and draws the foul. So we're going to see Jeremiah's Hurd going to the free throw line. Jeremiah's a matchup nightmare for every team that Model plays. Rarely do you find a team that's got somebody that can match up against him. Shots on the way, and that one's through. He gets ready for a second free throw. He gets a lot of practice at free throws during games because teams can't defend him, so they have to foul him so he doesn't get easy buckets. He's back at the free throw line. Here's a second shot on the way, and that one's going to bang hard off the front of the rim. And now Gordon Central has it. They bring it back the other way. Chastain leaves it for McDaniel. Now back to Chastain. They send it down to Haygood. Put shot, puts the shot up, misses. Here's a putback attempt. It's blocked, pulled down by Jeremiah's herd. Jaden Haynes one-on-one -on -one with McDaniel underneath. And that one's going to be too strong. Can't get the layup. Model has it back, though. They kick it back out to Travis, out to Haynes. Ames on to Stevie Dallas. Now over to Jaquinis Hurd for three, and that was going to bounce high off the rim. Haygood gets the rebound for Gordon Central. They go back the other way. McDaniel with it, drives baseline. Little runner, that's going to be missed. Board's going to be picked up by a model, but it goes back to Gordon Central. Little, little jump shot's going to be missed. Jeremiah Hurd gets the board. 
Stevie Dallas to bring it up the floor for the Blue Devils. He's across the center court stripe on the far side. Now they kick it out to Haynes, 4-3. That one's off the mark, bangs high off the rim. And Jaquinis Hurd came down with the rebound, but his foot was on the baseline. So that's gonna come back to Gordon Central. So it's one to nothing in favor of Model. Only point of the game so far was a Jeremiah's Hurd free throw. And we're two minutes and 12 seconds into the game. Gordon Central brings it back the other way. Curtis to McDaniel. McDaniel's double team, so they're going to feed it up to the top of the key. Now to the left wing side, wide open three on the way and misses everything. Noah Travis comes out with it. He's across the center court stripe, sends it on to Jaquinis Hurd. Now he gets it to Stevie Dallas on the right wing side over to Jaden Haynes. Now they work it back around the horn to the right wing side and Stevie Dallas. Dallas flings it up top. Now back to Dallas. Sends it back over to Jaden Hames. Hames back over to Jaquinis Hurd. On to Stevie Dallas. Lobbing it underneath to Jeremiah Hurd. And the foul's going to be charged against Seth Haygood of Gordon Central. And that one on the floor. So we're going to see Model inbound the basketball with 5.08 remaining and a 1 to 0 score. Almost three minutes in this game. And the only point is a free throw. There's the lob inside of Jaquinis Hurd. He's at the top of the key. Jacks up a three. That's strong off the back of the rim. Both teams having a hard time getting the lid off the basket in the early few minutes of the ball game. McDaniel's got it. Dribbles right. Now puts up a three-pointer. That one is going to bounce high off the rim. Jaquinis co collects the rebound here on senior night. There's Jaden Hames. Drives the lane. Gets blocked. Big-time block there for Logan Curtis. And he bats it out of bounds. So we've seen two big blocks in this game, one for Model, now one for Gordon Central. They're going to lob it outside of Jaquinis on to Jeremiah, and he banks it in, gets an easy bucket underneath. It's 3 to 0, a 3 0 run to start the game for Model. Curtis bounces under the legs of Jaquinis Hurt, at least that's what it looked like to me. He sends it out the left wing side to a sub who just came into the game for Gordon Central, puts up a little jump shot, misses. Rebound goes to Noah Travis. He works it up the other side of the floor. Jaden Hames thought about the three, sends it on to Noah Travis, back to Hames, wide open three-point shot, bangs high off the rim. Jaquinis gets the rebound, tries the reverse layup, misses. Gordon Central gets the rebound. They go back the other way. Curtis has got it. He's standing in front of the model bench, now goes up to the top of the key, gives it to McDaniel, three-pointer on the way, and he drills it. Mac McDaniel, good-looking shot, and that ties it up at three apiece. Model to bring it up the other side of the floor. Stevie Dallas, Jaquinis Hurd, sends it right back to Stevie. Stevie on to Jaquinis, jacks up a three-point shot. That bangs high off the rim. Jeremiah is there for the board, though, gives it to a cutting Jaquinis off the glass and through. He gets the bucket and the foul, and Jaquinis Hurd has an opportunity at a three-point play. Model leads it five to three. Checking into the game for Gordon Central is Amir Harrison. Checking out is going to be Peyton Chastain. Jaquinis Hurd with a free throw coming up. If he makes it, he'll convert the three-point play, and he does. Six to three, your score model leads it by three. Joey Samples and Riley Chapman check in for Jeremiah Hurd and Noah Travis. So on the floor right now for model, you got Jaquinis Hurd, Stevie Dallas, Jaden Hames, Riley Chapman, and Joey Samples. Gordon Central across the timeline. They got him double team. Ball is loose. Who will chase it down? Jaquinis Hurd dives for it, gets it, sends it out to Joey Samples. They get it to Jaden Hames. Ball movement here from the model devils. Chapman's got it, sends it on to Hames in the left wing corner, back out to Jaquinis Hurd, on to Stevie Dallas. Dallas to Hames, fakes, goes towards the paint, kicks it out to Chapman. Now on to Jaquinis Hurd, corner three on the way, that bangs high off the rim, and then Gordon Central ends up with the ball. We're at the three-minute mark. Not a lot of scoring here in the first five minutes of the ball game. It's six to three, Model leads it by three. Little jump shot on the other side, it goes over the rim, picked up by Gordon Central. The putback is gonna go for DJ Fleetwood, and that cuts it to a one-point ball game under the three-minute mark. We got 2.45 left to go here in the first period. Riley Chapman with it at the top of the key, backs up between the circles, sends it on to Jaquinis Hurd on the right wing. Out to Jaden Hames, a contested three on the way is missed. Samples 
trying to get the rebound. Coming out with it is DJ Fleetwood. And going back the other way, left to right, is going to be the Warriors. Warriors with it. They try to dribble around a screen. Now they feed it back up top. Curtis has got it, loses the handle right into the hands of Jakenis Hurd. He drives towards the low block, off the glass and through, coast to coast. And the bucket is good for Jakenis Hurd. It's 8-5, to five, model back to a three-point lead, matching their biggest lead of the game. Curtis has got it, spins around in the lane, puts it up and scores. Warriors battling here in this game. They cut it back to one. It's 8-7, to seven, model on top. Stevie Dallas across the timeline. Dribbles between the circles, sends it. To the right wing side of Chapman, around to Hames. To Jakinis Hurd at the top of the key. There's Riley Chapman for three on the way. Bangs hard off the back of the rim. Now they try to feed it back out to Hames after getting the rebound. The pass is stolen away by Mac McDaniel, and the Warriors bring it back the other way. Curtis has got it now. He's across the center court stripe. Tries to dribble around a high screen. Now he goes down towards the low block, dribbles baseline. Curtis going to need some help. Bounces it into a cutting McDaniel. Misses the shot. Hames has got the board. Motors across the floor. Gives it to Chapman. The ball is batted out of bounds. Knocking it out of Amir Harrison. And the ball will stay on Model's side of the floor with subs into the basketball game. Jakinis Hurd, Jaden Hames, and Stevie Dallas all head towards the bench. Owen Mathis is going to take this inbound pass. Puts up a shot right off the bench. Misses the three. Also into the game, Chase Allen. Noah Travis. Gordon Central with the basketball. McDaniel with it. Feeds it up top. There's a shot from the free throw line. That bangs hard off the back of the rim. There for the board is Noah. Noah dribbles slowly across the center court stripe. Sends it on to Joey Samples. Samples will feed it inside to Allen. Tries to post up. Feeds it baseline to a cutting Owen Mathis. Misses the shot. The putback after the rebound for Chase Allen is good. His first bucket of the game. Model back out to a three-point lead with 35 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Across the timeline goes McDaniel. Leaves it for Curtis. A three-point shot on the way. That's left short. In an attempt to rebound... Noah Travis is fouled by Gordon Central. And the foul is going to be on Tyler Hedges. And substitutions coming into the game here for Gordon Central as we get ready for model to inbound the basketball. That was what appeared to be a rather hard, unnecessary foul from Gordon Central. Noah Travis will bring it across the center court stripe, sends it to the left wing side to Riley Chapman. Now the samples inside to Allen off the glass. Too strong, but he gets the foul, and we're going to see Chase go into the free throw line with an opportunity to give his team a bigger lead. They lead it 10-7, to seven, model over the Warriors here in the early goings. we got 17.3 seconds left on the clock here in the first quarter. Allen with a couple of shots. First one's on the way. That bangs high, high off the back of the rim. And Allen gets ready for the second free throw. Model leading at 10 to 7 here at home here on senior night. Second shot on the way. That one's going to drop. So Chase Allen makes one of the pair, and it's 11 to 4. Model with their biggest lead of the game, four points. Gordon Central back the other way. They lose the handle. The feet underneath to Allen, one on one, gets the easy layup. And Allen now with five points. Model with the lead, and. Ball is going to stay with Gordon Central. 13 to 7, your score, six point lead for Model with 1.8 ticks left on the clock remaining in the first quarter. As we get ready for Amir Harrison to send things in motion here for the Warriors, a heave at the end of the clock. That one doesn't get to the rim, and that's the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, Model's going to lead this one at home by a score of 13 to 7 over the Gordon Central Warriors. Let's step out for one minute.
Right now in the region standings, Model and North Murray are tied with the same region record. And so if both, well, shot on the way, that's a three-point attempt that's going to be missed. If they end up uh, another shot on the way, that's going to be missed. And now on a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against the Blue Devils and we'll get ready for Gordon Central to inbound the ball. But like I was saying, North Murray and Model, if they end up tied at the end of the regular season in terms of the region record, then what will happen, I understand, will be a coin flip to determine who has, who will host the region tournament because this time it's the boys' side that determines who will host. So we'll see what happens there. But again, uh, first things first, got to win the rest of the regular season games. Inside Gordon Central, they put it up, missed the shot. And it looks like we're going to see free throws coming up for near Harrison. As we're just underway here with our second quarter of the basketball game. So Amir Harrison at the free throw line shooting a couple of shots after being fouled by Noah Travis. And the first shot is in the air, and that one's going to rattle in. He'll get ready for his second free throw. That's going to cut it to 13-8. to eight. It's a five-point ball game. So, again, Harrison at the stripe. One more coming up. It's on the way. That bangs high off the back of the rim. There's a rebound and a putback for Gordon Central, and it's good for D.J. Fleetwood. That cuts it back to a three-point ball game. 13 to 10. Stevie Dallas for three on the other end. That caroms off the rim. DJ Fleetwood's there for the rebound. He's going to send it right back to McDaniel. He goes across the center court stripe, jacks up a long three. That one's off the rim. And Jeremiah Hurd collects the board, and a timeout is going to be called by a red hot Coach Travis. He is absolutely fired up right now. We're going to take one as well. Let's step out. It's 13 to 10, model on top by three. We're back in 30 seconds. Kenneth heard the lob inside of Jeremiah. It's off the glass. That one rattles off the rim. Gordon Central collects the rebound. They go the other way. Coast to coast. Nice pass underneath. DJ Fleetwood. He got the bucket, but there was a traveling call against the young man that passed it to him, I believe, just before he sent it in his direction. So that's a turnover instead of a bucket. Milo comes back the other way. They give it to Jaquinas Hurd. Feed it off to Noah Travis. Back top to Stevie. They go on to Jaden Hames. Hames has got the ball between the circles, lobs it underneath to Jeremiah Hurd, bangs it off the glass and through. And now he's got five points. Amato has a five-point lead, 15 to 10. Their largest lead of the game so far has been six, I believe. 6.30 left to go in the second quarter. And last time these two teams would play, it was a 71 to 46 victory for Model on January the 10th up at their place at Gordon Central. Chastain checks back into the game here for the visiting Gordon Central Warriors, and he will inbound the ball for the Warriors in just a moment. He feeds it in to the left wing side. Gordon Central has it on their side of the floor. They give it to Curtis, a desperation three, misses the shot, kind of rushed that one. Ball went out of bounds, and now Milo will get ready to inbound the basketball, leading this one by five. 15 to 10 your score. We got 6.20 left to go in the first half here on senior night. Across the timeline goes Stevie Dallas, gives it to her, back out to Noah Travis, on to Jaden Hames. Hames feeds it down low to Jaquinas Hurd. He tries to lob it underneath to Jeremiah, but the ball kind of sailed away from him and end up in Gordon Central's hands. They've got it. Now Gordon Central drives into the lane, puts it up. That's off the glass, wide right. Noah Travis is there to collect the rebound. Stevie Dallas feeds it to the left wing side, dribbling baseline with it as Jaquinas Heard. Now they get it back out around the perimeter. They feed it out to Jaden Hames. Hames has got it, gives it on to Stevie Dallas. Dallas at the top of the key, feeds it out to Noah Travis. Travis back over to Dallas. Now around to Jeremiah Heard. They get it underneath to Jaquinas. He is going to put it right through. Jaquinas Heard with seven points in the ball game. We got 5.30 left to go in the second quarter as Gordon Central tries to work it over on the other side of the floor. 
Now with it is Curtis. Curtis is at the top of the key with it. Now he tries to feed it to a teammate. It gets caught up between him and Noah Travis, and he travels. So that's going to be a turnover, and it's coming back to the Blue Devils. Blue Devils now with their largest lead of the game, 17-10 to 10 is the score as they've got the ball on the other end. Jaden Hames with it. Feeds it over to Dallas inside of Jakenis Hurd. He'll post up, shoot, scores, gets the foul, and he's got a three-point opportunity. Jakenis Hurd has got nine points, leads all scorers in the ball game, can make it 10 if he converts the three-point play as we get ready for Tyler Hedges to check back into the game here for the visiting Gordon Central Warriors. So now Model with a nine-point lead have, have the largest lead of the night. Shots on the way, and it is through. Jakinis Hurd knocks it down. He does have 10 points. It's 20 to 10 as Model doubles up the uh, Gordon Central Warriors. Five minutes left to go here in the second quarter of the ball game. Across the timeline goes the Warriors. They feed it back up top to Peyton Chastain. Chastain back out to Logan Curtis between the circles. He'll reset the offense. Now back up to the top of the key to McDaniel. McDaniel drives towards the low block, puts it up, gets it to the rim, misses the shot. Ball's knocked out of bounds by the Blue Devils in pursuit of the rebound. And now Gordon Central will inbound on their side of the floor, trailing by 10. 20 to 10, your score, 441 left here in the first half. There's a shot off the inbound pass, missed it. Here's another shot. Fleetwood is able to bank that one in. He's got six points. And that cuts it back to an eight-point ball game, 20 to 12. Model back the other way. Jakinis Hurd into the paint. Sends it back out to Stevie Dallas for three. Nope, that one's not going to go. Rebound's going to go to Gordon Central. Logan Curtis across the center court strike. He dribbles to the top of the key. Now down to the low block. Puts it up. In and out. Rolls off the rim. Rebound's going to go to the Model Devils. Noah Travis brings it across the center court strike. He sends it to the right wing side over to Jaden Hames. They have him covered up, so they go to Stevie Dallas on the left wing. Back up top between the circles. Now to Jaden Hames. Fakes, goes in, puts it up. A little floater's going to be missed. There's Jeremiah Sturd with the rebound and the putback. And he scores. Jeremiah with seven points. 22 to 12. Model matches their largest lead of the game at 10. Gordon Central across the timeline, sub set to go, come into the game for model momentarily. Boy, what a good looking shot from three point range from Peyton Chastain, his first bucket of the game. And it was a biggie, 22 to 15. That cuts it back to seven. Model with it on the other end with 325 left to go on the first half. They feed it around to Jaden Hames. Now back up top to Stevie Dallas. Now on to Noah Travis. He sends it back out to Dallas. Fakes the three-point shot. They lob it underneath to Jakinis Hurd. Almost lost it. There's Haynes for three. That one's off the rim. And from three-point range, the, the Blue Devils have been cold here in the first half. They've had some good looks, but hadn't been able to get the lid off the basket from outside. There's a two-point long two-point shot on the other side and missed. Rebound goes to Jeremiah Hurd. Sends it over to Noah Travis. He's across the center court line. Now sends it left. Back up to Stevie Dallas, on to Noah. Noah surveys the floor, gives it back to Stevie Dallas. Thought about the three, sends it right back over to Noah Travis. Dallas has two defenders on him, send it to Hames. Shots on the way, that one's off the rim. Cannot get the three-pointers to fall here in the first half of this basketball game. That may one yet. And they've had some opportunities. McDaniel misses the layup. Gordon Sitch Gets the rebound. McDaniel has it back. Fakes. Puts up a three-point shot. Misses everything. Jeremiah's Hurd collects the ball. Here's a run out. Shot is up. Too strong off the backboard. Goes off the front of the rim. And a missed layup there by Haynes. Gordon Central collects the rebound. They go back the other way. Fleetwood's got it on the right wing side. Now gives it, gives it off to Curtis. We're at the two-minute mark of the second period. Ball's kicked loose. Haynes has got it. A run out. Goes in and lays it in. Jaden Haynes with his first bucket of the game. 25, 24 to 15, your score, 148 left to go in the first half. Across the timeline goes Peyton Chastain. Gives it off to a teammate who goes into the paint. Kind of a wild looking shot, but he made it work. That was Hedges in his first bucket of the game. Jakinis Hurd on the other end. Gives it to Stevie Dallas on to Noah Travis. Sends it to Jaden Hames on the right wing side. They go around the horn. Back up top to Dallas. Now to Noah. Lobs it inside to Jeremiah Hurd. Back out to Stevie Dallas. Creates a wide open three. That one caroms off the rim. 
and it's poked out of bounds. Jeremiah thought it was off on Gordon Central. The official thought it should go the other direction. It will. 114 left to go in the second quarter. Model leads it by seven. 24 to 17 is your score. Gordon Central set to trigger it in motion. They get it in. A little bit of pressure here from the Blue Devils, but Gordon Central dribbles around it. They try to feed it underneath. Samples picks off the pass. Jaden Hames has the ball into the paint, and he lays it in. Jaden Hames floats it to the rim and gets it through. It's 26 to 17. Nine-point lead for the Blue Devils. Shot on the way. And that misses everything, but the putback is going to go for DJ Fleetwood. He's got eight points in the ball game, and that cuts it back to a seven-point game. 45 ticks on the clock. Robinson into the game for the Blue Devils. They try to float it underneath to Allen. The ball sails out of bounds. It's coming back to Gordon Central. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Model leads this one over Gordon Central. 26 to 19 is your score. So getting close to halftime. They'll bounce it into Curtis. He's double teamed and trapped. They work the ball down to Harrison. Harrison across the center court strike. 28 seconds on the shot clock. So about a five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Ball is stolen away. Hames came out with it. He dribbles down right to the low block, heaves it towards the bucket. Couldn't get a good shot, but he draws the contact. So we're going to see Hames go into the free throw line for the first time of the ball game. And he's going to have two shots. 21.2 seconds on the clock. Model leads at 26 to 19. This is the next to last regular season game here for the Blue Devils. Going to play at Rockmark coming up on Tuesday at 7.30. Shots on the way and it's through. He gets ready for a second free throw. Going to have college basketball for you on the airwaves tomorrow. Second shot on the way for Hames and that one's through. And we actually had a lane violation, I believe, on model, so that one will not count. And the score remains 27 to 19. So Gordon Central will inbound the basketball. Across the timeline they go with Harrison. He drives the lane, bounce pass underneath, deflected out of bounds as the guy was going up trying to shoot. Chase Allen knocked it out of his hands. What a great play. It's going to stay with Gordon Central. With 11.2 seconds left on the clock here remaining in the first half, they inbound to Chastain, go up top to McDaniel. He lobs it underneath. Now they'll kick it back out to Chastain. Two seconds on the clock. They turn, shoot, miss, and that's the end of the first half. So Model's going to lead this one at the end of our first half of play by a score of 27 to 19 over Gordon Central. Let's send it back to the studio for a three-minute timeout. We're back with a halftime show after these messages.
All right, we welcome you back inside Winter Gymnasium. We're at Model High School tonight, bringing you High School Hoops, presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales here on the radio and also the live YouTube stream. And we're just glad to have you with us tonight because, well, we won't want to be anywhere else than watching High School Hoops here as we are now in the month of February. It's almost tournament time. Just a couple of more regular season games to go. Of course, this one and the one coming up at Rockmart on Tuesday. Then it's in the books and it's tournament time coming up next not this next week but the week after the 13th through the 18th so yeah man wow hard to believe it it's this point of the season already but let's go ahead and break down the first half for you we got about six minutes until we start the second half of this basketball game but model would outscore gordon central in the first quarter 13 to 7 and then 14 to 12 a little bit tighter there in the second quarter of the basketball game and they lead it 27 to 19 here at halftime here's how the individual effort went in terms of scoring mac mcdaniel had a three-pointer for three points there in the first half of the game for gordon central logan curtis with two one point for Amir Harrison for Gordon Central. Two points for Tyler Hedges. Three for Peyton Chastain. Knocked down a three in the second quarter. And their leading score for the Gordon Central Warriors was DJ Fleetwood. He'd have eight points, two in the first quarter, six points in the second quarter to total up to his eight. All that should add up to their 19 points there in the first half. Meanwhile, for the model Blue Devils playing at home, it would be Jaden Hames with three points in the second quarter of the basketball game for a total of three. Five points for Chase Allen. All five of his points were in the first quarter. Seven points for Jeremiah Hurd. And then the leading score for the Blue Devils there in the first half was Jaquinas Hurd. He would get 12 points. One of the things certainly that stood out about the first half for the model Blue Devils, they're typically a good perimeter shooting team. And for some reason tonight, they could not get the perimeter shots to fall. They had zero made threes there in the first half of the basketball game, which is pretty unusual. So we'll see what happens if they can get the lid off the basket from deep coming up in the second half. But regardless, they've got the lead in the ball game right now by a score of 27 to 19 over the visiting Gordon Central Warriors. I do want to mention to our radio listeners, if you like college basketball, we're going to have some college hoops coming up for you tomorrow on the airwaves of WLAQ. It'll be Georgia Tech on the road to take on a really good NC State Wolfpack basketball team. Georgia Tech goes into the game as 15-point underdogs after losing at Louisville yesterday. And, man, that was a tough loss because Louisville came into the game 2-19. and 2-19 and 19 with no wins in ACC play. And they beat the Jackets last night at the KMC, KFC Yum Center. Uh, about made me sick to my stomach, if I'm being completely honest about the matter. But, nonetheless, you can listen to Georgia Tech Hoops from the Georgia Tech Radio Network from Legend Sports tomorrow on WLAQ 1 o'clock tip. Andy Demetra with the call. We're going to take one more break. We're going to step out for about two and a half minutes, two and a half minutes down the line and get you ready for the start of the second half. It's the Model Blue Devils and Gordon Central Warriors. We're at halftime. Model leads it 27 to 19. We're back in two and a half minutes on WLAQ. Northwest Georgia Media would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of this year's live stream. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialist. We would also like to acknowledge those who have made contributions to support this year's live stream. If you would like to support live streaming Blue Devil Basketball, please consider making a donation by scanning the QR code that's on your screen now. Or if you're a business and would like to advertise with Northwest Georgia Media, or if you would just like information on our company, please send an email to info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for your support. most affordable bachelor's degree in Northwest Georgia is right here at Georgia Highlands College. High quality and career focused, that's what you can expect at GHC. 
Apply today at highlands.edu. We're back with you as halftime set to expire here in about 35 seconds inside Woodard Gymnasium. High School Hoops on WLAQ presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales and then also on the live YouTube stream tonight as well. We've got a little break here. I'll go ahead and recognize everybody involved in the broadcast tonight. We're going to start with Lynn Butler back at Command Central at WLAQ doing a fine job as always. As far as the video crew is concerned, it's Millie Potts and Caleb Weiss. On the cameras, Nathan Patterson is the director tonight. Replay is Uta Patterson, Grayson Atkins on the PA, and I'm Matt Davis with the play-by-play -play story. Model with the basketball to open up the third quarter of the basketball game. They miss a shot, and DJ Fleetwood brings it, collects the rebound here for Gordon Central. A big time long three is going to be missed. The rebound's going to be taken by Noah Travis, and the Blue Devils will bring it back the other way. little floater there from Stevie Dallas won't make it, and then Logan Curtis gets the rebound for Gordon Central. They come back the other way. So 27-19 to 19 is your score. Just underway with the second half of the ball game. Going to bounce it underneath, trying to get it down to Seth Haygood, but the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds by Model, so it's going to stay with Gordon Central on their side of the floor. Good defense there by Model. Get ready for Curtis to inbound the ball for the Gordon Central Warriors. Now get it to Chastain. Now back up top to Fleetwood. He'll back his way in on Jakinis Hurd. Ball's going to be knocked down, picked up by Hurd. He'll bring it back the other way. Sends it over to Stevie Dallas. Sends it back to Jakinis. On to Noah Travis for three on the way. That bangs high off the back of the rim. Back out to Stevie Dallas after the long rebound by Noah. The second three-point shot won't go, and still not a made three in the basketball game here for the model Blue Devils. I'm not sure what's going on. They can't get the lid off the basket on either side so far. They go down low, shot off the glass, and that one's through for McDaniel. He gets the first bucket of the second half, and he draws the contact, so he's got an opportunity for a three-point play. So model had led it 27-19 to 19 at the end of the first half, and now the first bucket of the second half goes to Gordon Central. They cut it to a six-point ball game. That caroms off the rim, so he does not convert the three-point play. Model got the rebound. They sent it to Noah Travis, the three-pointer on the way. They left that one well short. And then the ball is nearly kept in bounds by Jaden Hames, but he goes out of bounds with it, and it's coming back to Gordon Central. 27 to 21, Model leads it by six. We got 6.36 left to go in the third quarter. Gordon Central, they're going to send it down to DJ Fleetwood off the glass and through. Nobody was able to get to him in time, and he's got 10 points. Gordon Central has a 4-0 run going to start the half. Jeremiah's hurt on the other end is going to get fouled. So we're going to see him go into the free throw line. So the big guy, Jeremiah going to the stripe, trying to get model their first points here at the start of the third quarter of the ball game. So Jeremiah's at the free throw line. He'll be shooting two. He's been to the stripe one time before in the game and knocked down one. Makes the first. He gets ready for a second. That moves the score to 28 to 23. Second shot, that's going to be flat. It's a miss. McDaniel gets the rebound, puts up a three-pointer on the other end and drills it. What a big-time looking shot. He's got five points here in the second half. That cuts it to a two-point ball game. 
I think this one's a bit closer than anybody here on the model side thought it was going to be. That shot's on the way from Jakenna Surd. Another missed three for the Blue Devils. They just cannot make the three-point shots here in this ball game. They got it at the top of the key. Try to send it underneath. Jakenna Hurd's there. Picks off the pass. He gets fouled. Hits the deck. Ball comes loose, and it's coming back to the Blue Devils. It's going to stay with the Blue Devils, rather, after the foul. Logan Curtis is charged with that foul for Gordon Central. Jukenis Hurd's ready to send it in motion. Sends it to the backcourt to Stevie Dallas. Dallas now on to Noah Travis. Travis back up top to Jaden Hames. Here's a three-pointer on the way. That one caroms off the rim. Still haven't made a three in the basketball game. Here's McDaniel across the center court strike for the Gordon Central Warriors. He puts up a little runner, misses the shot. It caroms off the rim. Ball's poked out of bounds. Who last touched it? Well, it looks like it was Gordon Central because it's coming back to the Blue Devils. They bounce it into Stevie Dallas. Dallas is across the center court strike. Now goes to Jakinis Hurd, lobs it underneath to Jeremiah. And he gets fouled as he's trying to get it to the rim. So we're going to see Jeremiah going back to the free throw line. This is going to be his third trip to the line where he's shooting 50%. He's two of four. Jeremiah Hurd with two shots coming up here with 520 left to go in the third quarter. First one's on the way, and that one's through. And so far, the trend for him in the game has been that he'd make the first one and then miss the second one. So let's see if he can buck the trend here and make them both. Second shot's on the way, and that one rattles in. Makes them both, and the score moves to 30 to 26, so a four-point lead for the Blue Devils. There's the lob across the court. They get it to Fleetwood, backs his way in, tries to send it back out around the perimeter, and Jakinis Hurd shuts down the passing lane and picks it off. Now they get it to Noah Travis. Deep three on the way, and it's through! Their first made three of the game, and it's Noah Travis, and it's 33-26. to 26. Here comes Curtis across the timeline. He's going to leave it off for McDaniel. He's going to float it over to Haygood, back up top to Chastain, puts it up, rattles off the rim. Board's going to go to Gordon Central. Chastain got it. Now he sends it out to Curtis, a little runner. That one's off the back of the rim. It won't go. Another shot from Fleetwood is going to go through. He's got 12 points, 33 to 28, a five-point lead for the Blue Devils. Model with a basketball. Jakinis Hurd sends it back up top to Jaden Haynes. Now on to Stevie Dallas. Over to Noah Travis. Another three on the way, and it's through. He makes two and two possessions for the Blue Devils, and they got the lid off the basket. Thanks to Noah Travis, 36-28. to 28. 409 remains in the third quarter. Here comes Gordon Central. They got him trapped at half court. Now on to Fleetwood they go. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter of the ball game, and timeout's going to be called by... Coach Greer of Gordon Central. So we're going to take one as well. 401 left to go in the third quarter. Model leads at 36 to 28. We are back in 30 seconds. Central with the ball, under four minutes to play in the third quarter. Joey Samples has got it as they try to get it to the bucket. Here comes Stevie Dallas across the timeline with it, sends it right to Jaden Hames. He's deep in the corner, drives towards the low block and baseline, misses a little runner. Rebound goes to Gordon Central. They're already on the other end of the floor. McDaniel with it, puts it up, a floater, it's missed. Fleetwood comes down with the rebound, though, and kicks it back out. There's McDaniel, dribbles baseline, tries to feed it underneath to Fleetwood. The ball's poked loose. It's going to stay with Gordon Central. They'll back up between the circles, reset the offense. Curtis drives the lane. The feed underneath, shaking off a defender is Fleetwood, and a foul is going to be charged against the Blue Devils. Noah Travis. And free throws coming up here for Mr. Fleetwood.
score moves to 36 to 30. So he made the bucket, drew the foul, and has a three-point play opportunity here with subs into the game here for the Blue Devils. Robinson and then also Chapman checking in the game here for Model. Here comes the shot from Fleetwood. It's on the way, and that one's off the back of the rim. Can't convert, but they do get the rebound, only to pass it out of bounds immediately, and it's coming back to the Blue Devils. Blue Devils lead at 36 to 30. We got 317 left to go here in the third quarter. Joey Samples, Jack Robinson, Jaden Haynes, Riley Chapman, and Chase Allen on the floor right now for Model. They send it up top to Samples, back around to Chapman. He's at the top of the key, fakes. Sends it right back to Samples, up top to Hames. Now to Robinson, inside to Allen between two defenders, and he travels. Gordon Central will bring it back to the other end of the floor. Curtis sends it down, stolen away by Riley Chapman. He dribbles up towards the top of the key. The ball is going to be kicked. He was pushed. It's going to be a foul that's going to go against Gordon Central. Sub coming into the game. That's going to be Peyton Chastain checking in for DJ Fleetwood. Score remains 36 to 30 in favor of the Blue Devils playing at home on senior night. They're going to send it in to Jaden Haynes. Now back up top to Riley Chapman on to Joey Samples. Now to the right wing side, they go to Robinson. There's Haynes for three on the way. That's off the front of the rim. Ball is going to pinball off a couple of players, and it comes back to Gordon Central after everything's said and done. Curtis leaves it out for McDaniel. Contested three. That's off the front of the rim. Rebound's going to go to Gordon Central. 2.27 left to go in the third quarter. As we get ready for Logan Curtis to inbound the ball here for the Warriors. He's going to send it in to Amir Harrison. Harrison at the top of the key, tries to work around the screen, leaves it off for McDaniel. He's between the circles, now drives, puts it up, rattles through, and he gets the contact. Mac McDaniel's going to the free throw line, and he's got a three-point opportunity here. And that cuts it back to a six-point ball game, 36, or actually a four-point ball game, 36 to 32. And if McDaniel can knock down this free throw shot. It's going to cut this thing to a three-point ball game, a one-possession game if he makes it, and the shot's on the way, and he does. So he knocks it down, converts a three-point play. Robinson with it across the timeline for the Blue Devils. Picks up his dribble, sends it on to Chapman. Ball's deflected. Could be a run out here. Here comes Harrison off the glass. Too strong. He does draw the contact. So Amir is going to the free throw line here for the Warriors with a score at 36 to 33 in favor of Model. Model led it by eight points at halftime, and that lead is cut to three, and two free throws coming up for Harrison. The first one's off the back of the rim. It won't go. He gets ready for a second free throw with 208 remaining in the third quarter. Harrison's shot on the way. That's off the back of the rim. Chase Allen's there for the board. Gives it off to Jack Robinson. He's on the far sidelines dribbling it. Now they work it around the right wing side. Two samples back up top to Chapman. Loses the handle. It goes into the backcourt, but it's going to stay with the Blue Devils. Now on to Jakinis Hurd. Drives baseline. Puts it up. A little floater is through. Jakinis Hur with 14 points in the game. 38 to 33, Model leads it by five. There's Harrison for three and it's through. What a shot by Harrison. Amir cuts it to a two point ball game. 38 to 36, Model nearly has their pocket pick. It's deflected out of bounds by Logan Curtis. It stays with the Blue Devils. A sub coming into the game. Haygood is gonna check in for Chastain. Or Chastain. Subs into the game for model. Noah, Travis, and Stevie Dallas check back in. So right now you're going to have Noah, Stevie. Uh, ball is stolen away. Amir's got it. Goes in. Eurostep. Shot off the glass. It's through. He's got two quick buckets. We got a tie ball game with 120 left to go in the third quarter. Model with the basketball at the top of the key. Now on to Noah Travis. He sends it up top to Jakinis Hurd. Hurd surveys the floor, the lob underneath. It sails over Jeremiah Hurd's hand and out of bounds. It's coming back to Gordon Central. They've got an opportunity to take the lead in the ballgame for the first time. 
Ball game's tied up at 38 apiece. 108 left to go in the third quarter as Gordon Central gets set to inbound the basketball. Wow. Nobody expected this. Last time these two teams played, Mata would win at 71 to 46. Gordon Central lost their last game 116 to 50 at North Murray earlier this week, and that didn't taste too good. Ball is stolen away. Model has it back. Jakinis Hurd was able to steal the pass. Here comes Chase Allen, dribbles towards the baseline, picks up his dribble, bounces it back to Stevie Dallas. He sends it on to Jakinis Hurd, who is cutting towards the basket. The pass is picked off by Seth Haygood. Gordon Central has it. They head the other way. Shot off the glass too strong. Stevie Dallas with the board. He'll slow up as he crosses center court. Now sends it to Noah Travis. Back up to Stevie. Now on to Kenneth Hurd. They get it to Jeremiah at the free throw line. Puts up the shot. It's through. Ah, model needed that one. They regain the lead, 40 to 38. 20 seconds in the shot clock turned off in the third quarter. We got a close one. Gordon Central's got it. A shot from the free throw line. That one rattles off. Jeremiah collects the rebound. Noah Travis has the basketball. He's going to work it across the center court strike. Heads towards the left wing side to Stevie Dallas, nearly just before the buzzer. And that one's going to be a miss. That is the end of the third quarter. Model clinging to a two-point lead. Your score at the end of three, Model 40, Gordon Central 38. We're back for the final frame after a one-minute timeout. Central loses the handle. Noah Travis has the basketball for Model. Model leads it by two as we resume play to start the final quarter of the game. Travis for three. That bangs high off the rim. Gordon Central's there for the rebound. If I totaled it right, Gordon Central outscored Model 19 to 13 in the third quarter, and it's a two-point ball game. Wow. Foul's going to be on number five, Logan Curtis on the other end. It's coming back to the Blue Devils. Jakinis Hurd is going to set things in motion here for Model. Model leading it by two points. Nobody expected it. At least I didn't for it to be this close of a game going into the fourth quarter. But Gordon Central's come to play. Across the timeline goes Stevie Dallas. Jakinis Hurd back over to Dallas. Now back to Jakinis, on to Jaden Haynes, 4-3, corner three on the way. That's off the side of the rim. It won't go. And really, the Blue Devils have had a hard time shooting three-point shots here in this basketball game. They've had good looks and just haven't been able to get them to go. Noah Travis had two threes in the third quarter. There's a long three on the other end. That's going to bang hard off the back of the rim. And Jeremiah collects the board, and they'll bring it back the other way. We're under seven minutes to play in a ball game. Ball is almost... And is nearly stolen away by Gordon Central. And a foul's going to be called. And I think they got Jakinis Hurd on that one. DJ Fleetwood's going to check into the game here for Gordon Central. That's the third foul in the game for Jakinis Hurd. Certainly something to keep an eye on as we go through the rest of the ball game. But we get ready for Gordon Central to feed the ball in. Mac McDaniel has got it. He's standing right in front of the model bench, ready to feed it in with 6.52 left to go in the ball game. Actually, that's only one foul for Jakinis Hurd. I didn't really, 
I looked at the scoreboard. They had three, and then they took a couple of them off. I didn't remember them having that many fouls. But anyway, that's stolen away by Jaden Hames. Goes in off the glass too strong. The putback is good for Stevie Dallas. Great teamwork there by the Blue Devils. And they pick up the first bucket of the fourth quarter. Ball's knocked loose by Jeremiah Hurd. It's on the floor, picked up by Haynes. He's going to feed it down to Dallas. One-on-one -on -one underneath. He gets blocked. Ball is picked up on the baseline by McDaniel. Gordon Central's going to bring it back the other way with 6.18 left. And model leading it by four. 42 to 38 is your score. There's a little jump shot there by Curtis. It's a miss. Fleetwood's got the rebound. Tries to put it back, gets blocked. He gets the ball back. They feed it underneath to Haygood. Haygood back to Fleetwood. Shots on the way. And actually a timeout was called by Coach Greer of Gordon Central. So let's take one as well. 5.58 left to go. Model 42, Gordon Central 38. We're back in 30. Gordon Central to inbound the ball. They bounce it into Chastain. Out to Curtis. Now around to McDaniel. Good ball movement. Three-point shot was missed. Ball's not loose. Going to be with model. Jaquinis Hurd's got it. Now to Noah Travis. Man down here for Gordon Central. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor because of an injured player. And I tell you what, he hadn't even made the attempt to get up off the floor. He's really hurting. Coach Greer's going to come over and have a look at him. Trainer's going to come out here and take a look at this young man, but it looks like he's rolled his ankle really bad and is afraid to try to get up and put any weight on it. And now they're having a look at his leg right now. So right now they're going to have a look at him, but we've got a timeout on the floor. We're going to keep it right here uh, for the moment. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but we'll see if it looks like it's going to be a while. But we're glad you're with us tonight on WLAQ and also the live video stream. Certainly hope that young man is going to be all right. Peyton Chastain right now being worked out on for Gordon Central out on the floor. But right now, model leads this game 42 to 38 is your score. Regular season winding down. This is the last home game of the season. It's senior night here inside Woodard Gymnasium. For seniors on this basketball team this year, Camden Oswalt, Bo Couch, Jaquinis Hurd, Jack Robinson, and Joey Samples. And then the trainers this year, Caden Downs and Colton Binion, couldn't make things happen without those guys. They've all been recognized here tonight on just a really, really special night. If you've just tuned in, want an update on the action here so far, the JV boys team dominated. I didn't write down the final score from that game, but they won. And then the model Lady Devils, they would pick up a 56-9 victory over Gordon Central in the girls' varsity game. And so now the model Blue Devils trying to go for the sweep, but this is a tight ball game. We got a four-point game with 5.43 left to go here in the game. And now Chastain's going to have to have some help, but he is putting some weight on that left leg. He is getting a little bit of support from the trainer and head coach Greer and some help off the floor, but it, it's good to see him putting some weight on that leg. So they'll continue to have a look at him, but he's off the floor and we're ready to resume play. Jaquinis Hurd feeds it in to Stevie Dallas. Now they get it to Noah Travis. Back up top to Jaquinis Hurd. On to Dallas. Dallas looks right. Now up to the top of the key to Jeremiah. Jeremiah to Stevie Dallas. A three-pointer on the way. That's off the back of the rim. Can't get it to go. Ball is nearly kept in bounds by Noah Travis. Uh, can't keep it in, and now he's grabbing at his knee. I think we've got an injury over on the sidelines here for Noah, and he's in a tremendous amount of pain. And I got to tell you, he's been fighting it all season, um, and, and he really looks like he's hurting right now. His dad and head coach, Jacob Travis, over chatting with him, and they'll get the trainer to come over and have a look at him. But he's in pain physically, but also 
emotional pain because he's really fought hard to get back out on the floor and he's having to continually deal with these injury issues. Three pointer on the other end from Logan Curtis. He strings it and it's 42 to 41, a one point ball game. Gordon Central's cut it to a one point game. Model with the basketball, Jakinis Hurd. He's gonna feed it to the left wing side and Jaden Haynes. Haynes around to Stevie Dallas. Dallas sends it right back over to Haynes, back up to Dallas, on to Jeremiah's Hurd, to Jakinis down near the bucket, puts it through. Ah, um, I don't needed that one. Jakinis is having a big game. He's got 16 points, it's 44 to 41. Across the timeline goes McDaniel, the student section, getting revved up here, trying to help their buddies. They need it. It's been a tough game. Haygood's got it. Curtis feeds it down low. Now they're gonna kick it back out to Haygood. He puts up a little jump shot. That caroms off the rim. Fleetwood gets the rebound, tries to shake off a couple of defenders, gets it to the rim, gets fouled. So DJ Fleetwood going to the free throw line. He's got 14 points. So he and Jakinis Hurd are tied for the most points scored in this basketball game. Right now, Model leads it by three. It's 44 to 41. First shot on the way from Fleetwood, and that one's through. He'll get ready for a second of 15 points now for Fleetwood, and that cuts it back to two. 426 left to go in the fourth quarter. DJ Fleetwood at the free throw line. Shots on the way, and that one's off the front of the rim. Hago gets the rebound. He is going to be trapped between two players for Model, and Coach Greer's going to call a timeout. So we'll do the same thing. 422 left to go in the ball game. Model clings to a two-point 44 to 42 lead over Gordon Central. We're back in 30 seconds. Well, folks, big crowd on hand for this one tonight inside Woodard Gymnasium, and it's a close game, a lot closer than I think the model folks would have thought it would have been uh, based on the results of the season in the previous matchup in the series that resulted in a 71 to 46 victory for model. But right now, Gordon Central fighting hard. Ball is gonna be out of bounds. Last touch by model, so it's gonna stay with Gordon Central. So we get ready for Logan Curtis to inbound the ball from the baseline. Gordon Central will have it on their side of the floor with 4.12 left to go. And Chase Allen gonna check into the game here for the Blue Devils. Jaquinas Hurd's gonna check out of the ball game. He's got two fouls. They're gonna feed it in. Hames is gonna steal it and they'll carry him off his arm to Riley Chapman. We're gonna have a whistle and a foul that's gonna go against Gordon Central. They're going to get Logan Curtis with that one. And he is going to have four fouls in the ball game. One more, and he's disqualified the rest of the way. We edge towards the midpoint of the final frame of this one. Jaden Haynes feeds it up top to Stevie Dallas. Dallas back to Haynes. Thought about the three, had second thoughts. Now just Dallas and Haynes tossing it back and forth. They try to go inside. The ball is poked loose as the passing lane was shut down. McDaniel with a long range three on the way. That's off the back of the rim. Jeremiah's Hurd's there to pull down the rebound. Stevie Dallas, a bounce pass over to Jaden Hames on the left wing side. Hames back to Dallas. He's at the top of the key with it. Feeds it right back to Hames, back to Dallas. Now on to Riley Chapman on the right wing side. Now they just work it around the horn, back to the left wing side. Coach Travis is gonna call a timeout right now and try to rally the troops and talk things over. 3.25 left to go in the game. Model leads it 44 to 42 and we'll have the ball coming out of the timeout. We're back in 30 seconds.
Well, Gordon Central's hung in there in this game and kept it pretty close throughout. Model led at 13 to seven after the first quarter. It was 27 to 19 at halftime. And then Gordon Central outscored Model 19 to 13 in the third quarter. It was a two point ball game going into the final frame and it's a two point ball game now. It's 44 to 42 as both teams have scored four points here in the first five minutes of the final frame of the basketball game. Jaden Haynes drives baseline. He gets blocked or a blocking foul rather. And it's gonna stay on Model's end of the floor. Neither team anywhere close to the bonus here in the final eight minutes of the basketball game. We got Stevie Dallas on the baseline set to trigger it in motion here for the model offense. They're going to send it in to Jaden Haynes, fake the three, sends it up top to Chapman. Now over to Dallas, back up top to Chapman. He sends it right back over to Dallas. Now they send it inside to... Allen, who loses the handle, balls loose on the floor, and that's going to be a traveling call against Gordon Central as the player had it laying on his back, moving around on the floor, and that was Seth Haygood. So Model set to inbound the ball on their side of the floor. They need a bucket in the worst way. Riley Chapman, Chase Allen at the top of the key, puts up a shot just inside the free throw line, can't get it to go. Jeremiah gets the rebound and gets fouled, and he's going to the free throw line. Player from Gordon Central came up fired, uh, came out fired up. Didn't believe that was a foul on him, but it was. We're going to see Jeremiah's Hurd going to the free throw line. So two shots coming up here for Jeremiah's Hurd. He's got 12 points in a ball game. Model leads at 44 to 42. First shots in the air. And that one's on to rattle in. It didn't like it was going to go at first, but it did. He gets ready for his second free throw. He's made four in a row. Kenneth Hurd checks back in for Chase Allen. One more free throw coming up here for Jeremiah Hurd. Right now, Model with a three point 45 to 42 lead. Second free throw on the way. That one's going to rattle off the rim. Rebound's going to go to Fleetwood, and the Gordon Central Warriors bring it back across the timeline on the other end of the floor, working from right to left. Dribbling at the top of the key with it is McDaniel. He works his way around Hames, puts up a jump shot. That's high off the back of the rim. Jaquinas Hurd bats it free. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul that's going to go against Jaquinas. So Jaquinas picks up his third and going to the free throw line is going to be Seth Haygood. This is going to be his first free throw attempts in the ball game. He has not found his way into the scorebook. He stands at the strike, 45 to 42. Model leads it by three. Shot on the way, and that one's through. He makes the first one, gets ready for the second. That cuts it to a two-point ball game. As Amir Harrison subs into the game here for Tyler Hedges for Gordon Central. Up here for Seth Haygood. Dribbles the ball a couple extra times this time. Puts that one in the air. And it's going to be a miss. Remains a two-point ball game. Jaquinas Hur got the rebound, sent it down to Stevie Dallas. Now to Riley Chapman. Model with the basketball and a, th a two-point lead here late in this ball game. We're closing in on the two-minute mark. Riley Chapman's got the ball. Starts to drive. He'll remain out around the perimeter. Long-range three for Stevie Dallas. Caroms off the rim. The rebound goes to Haygood and Gordon Central. Curtis is going to bring it up the floor here for the Warriors. He's across the timeline with it. He's going to feed it off to Harrison. Harris dribbles between the circles, goes behind his back between his legs. Now he goes into the paint, tries to get it to the rim. That's a missed shot. Here's Haygood, flings it towards the rim. It gets loose, and Model picks it up. Stevie Dallas motors the other way very quickly. He stops at the free throw line. They work it around to Chapman for three, and that one's high off the back of the rim. It won't go. Chapman comes out with it, though. And now Model dribbles back out around the perimeter. They lob it underneath to Jeremiah's Hurd. Now to Jaquinas underneath. Fakes, puts it up, misses the shot. The shooting woes continue for the Model Blue Devils here in this basketball game tonight. McDaniel with it on the other end here for the Warriors. They lose the handle, one-on-one -on -one underneath. Hames off the glass. And there to clean it up is Jaquinas Hurd as he tips it in after the missed shot from Hames. 18 points for Jaquinas. It's a four-point lead for the Blue Devils. We're to the one-minute mark officially right now. Under a minute to play. Ball caroms loose. Model's got it. Chapman comes out with it. 
Gave it to Jaquinas, gives it right back to Chapman. 50 seconds on the clock, model leads by four. Haynes tries to pass it back to Chapman. Ball was nearly picked off. Some contact and a foul's gonna be called against Harrison. And it's getting loud in here right now, folks. A timeout's gonna be called by Coach Greer of Gordon Central. We're gonna take one as well. 45.4 seconds left on the clock. Model on top, 47 to 43. We're back in 30 seconds. times in sports, whether it's basketball, football, whatever it is, sometimes you come into the game heavily favored and you find yourself in a situation where you got to buckle your chin straps and grind one out. And that's exactly the position that the model Blue Devils find themselves in right now. They've got a four point lead, 47 to 43, 45.4 seconds left on the clock. They have the ball. Jaden Hames takes the inbound pass from Jaquinis Hurd. He's going to leave it off at center court for Stevie Dallas. And immediately, Gordon Central is going to foul. And they have, well, that was the last one they had. So now you're going to have Stevie Dallas going to the free throw line as models in the bonus. So this is one and one coming up for the Blue Devils. They had no more fouls to give. So Dallas at the free throw line for the first time of the basketball game, and these will be biggies. Of course, it's one and one. He's got to make the first one. Shots away, and it's through. Stevie Dallas knocks down a big one. I mean, a big one. 48 to 43 is your score, a five-point lead for the Blue Devils. And here's another really important free throw. This one's on the way, and it's through. Boy. Those were two huge free throws made by Stevie Dallas, the sophomore, stepping up when his team really needed him. Three-pointer on the other end, long range. That is missed. Rebound was taken by Jeremiah Hurd, and he was fouled immediately. So we're going to see Jeremiah go into the free throw line and see if he can put a little bit more cushion in there. This one's not totally out of reach for Gordon Central yet, but if Jeremiah can make one or two here, uh, that certainly would help the calls here for the Blue Devils. It's still a two-possession game right now. A six-point lead here for the Blue Devils up 49 to 43. Shots on the way, and that one is through. Another big one. So great free throw shooting down the stretch here in uh, clutch time here for the Blue Devils. It's going to help them in this game, hopefully to a victory. Shots on the way, and that one's through. Four in a row for the Blue Devils from the charity stripe, and it's 51 to 43. 27 seconds on the clock underneath. Harrison tries the reverse layup. It looked like he got poked in the eye. That's going to be a foul against the Blue Devils. It's going to send Harrison to the free throw line here for Gordon Central. And that's a great opportunity here to try to remain in the game here for Gordon Central because the clock stopped and they got a couple of free throws coming up, trailing in the game. Shots on the way and that one's through. He makes the first one, giving them a little bit of life here. Score is 51 to 44. Second shot on the way, and that one's going to be through as well. He made them both. So now it's a six-point ball game, and a timeout is going to be called by Gordon Central. We're going to keep it right here through this timeout. Don't want to miss anything remaining in this basketball game. Of course, this is the last home game of the regular season, but model hits the road, as we've reminded you about several times throughout the broadcast. Going to wrap up the regular season at Rotmart on Tuesday, and WLAQ will be there to provide play-by-play -play commentary on the radio on 96.9 FM, 1410 AM, and also online, audio only at WLAQ1410.com. And then it'll be time to turn their attention to the region tournament, which is going to be played the 13th through the 18th. If they get to the end of the regular season, tied with North Murray. I understand it comes down to a coin flip, which team will eventually end up hosting the region tournament. 
but you got to take care of business in the regular season first. And this one's been a lot closer than people would have expected. But right now, model in control, 51 to 45 is your score. But at the same time, it's still only a two possession game with 25 seconds left. So it's not totally in the books yet. Jaden Haynes has got it and he gets fouled immediately. And they're gonna send him to the free throw line. So Haynes going to the stripe and good free throw shooting here when it mattered the most for the Blue Devils is a big part of this story because Stevie Dallas with ice water in his veins knocked down a couple and then so did Hurd, uh, Jeremiah Hurd. Now Jaden Haynes knocks one down and that's gonna be a big part of the story if Model comes out with the win is hitting these free throws at the end of the game after then a, a much closer game than expected here for the Blue Devils tonight. But hey, like we said earlier, sometimes you just got to grind one out. And that's exactly what the Blue Devils are doing tonight. Jaden Hames knocks another one down. That's six in a row from the free throw line for the Blue Devils. 52 to 45. That should be enough pushing. The shot on the other end is made by McDaniel. And he has 11 points and that cuts it to a 52 to 47 game. So it's a five point ball game with 13.3 seconds on the clock. And we're gonna keep it here through this timeout. So model in control right now, but still enough time here for Gordon Central to perhaps do something with a game that's a two possession game and 13.3 seconds on the clock. Certainly you'd rather be in model's position, uh, but you know, you got to tip your cap to Coach Greer and Gordon Central. They've fought throughout this game, and they have never thrown in the towel and never given up. This has been a really unbelievable effort for this basketball team visiting here tonight, trying to steal one on the road again after being defeated 116 to 50 by North Murray earlier in the week. All right. Jakinis Hurd set to feed it in here for the Blue Devils. Gordon Central will have to foul immediately. Ball's in bounds, and now they're going to basically jump on Stevie Dallas. Models hoping for the technical foul. Stevie Dallas jumps up rather quickly. But in they are going to tee him up. So Model will have free throw shots and possession of the basketball. So Stevie Dallas, who knocked down his last couple from the free throw line, goes to the free throw line. 52 to 47 is your score. 12.7 seconds on the clock. Dallas puts up the first free throw. It's through. He's made three in a row. He gets ready for another one. And this one's going to be in the books, folks. 6 point ball game as Stevie knocks this one down I would have to say it's over shot on the way and that one is through he knocks it down it's a 7 point lead for the Blue Devils and they will have possession of the basketball with 12.7 seconds left on the clock Jaquez Hurd set to inbound the ball here for Model he is going to bounce it into Riley Chapman they foul him immediately a lot more under control this time and we're going to see Chapman going to the stripe for the first time in the ball game as Model is in the double bonus now. So Chapman's going to have shots. So Chapman at the free throw line with two. Model with a 7-point, 54-47 lead over Gordon Central. Shots on the way. That one caroms off the rim. We get ready for the next free throw here from the Blue Devils and Riley Chapman. And Chapman sends the next one on the way. That one caroms off the rim, and the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds by Model, so it's coming back to Gordon Central. So the score remains 54 to 47, 10.1 seconds on the clock. If you're Model, you certainly don't want to foul here and send Gordon Central to the line. So they're going to play close defense, but they're going to make sure not to make any contact. Three point on the way is no good, and that is the end of the ball game. Model's going to come away with a win. They grind it out. And with the help of some good free throw shooting there in clutch time, they're able to win it 54 to 47. And I think there's a sigh of relief for Coach Travis and the entire 
model team and coaching staff after surviving that basketball game against Gordon Central. Again, 54 to 47, your final score. Let's send it back to the studio for a three minute timeout. We'll come back and wrap things up here on WLAQ in the live stream. Back in three minutes. Northwest Georgia Media would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of this year's live stream. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialist. We would also like to acknowledge those who have made contributions to support this year's live stream. If you would like to support live streaming Blue Devil Basketball, please consider making a donation by scanning the QR code that's on your screen now. Or if you're a business and would like to advertise with Northwest Georgia Media, or if you would just like information on our company, please send an email to info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for your support. Well, sometimes when you win, it's not necessarily pretty, and that was the case for the Model Blue Devils today, but the main thing is they got the job done. The final score was 54 to 47. Model would make nine of 12 from the charity stripe there in the fourth quarter, and a big part of the reason they were able to come away with the win in the game. Uh, some clutch free throw shooting down the stretch there from Stevie Dallas, Jeremiah Hurd, and also Jaden Hames there in the fourth quarter, and they are able to... to 17 and 4 overall, 9 and 2 in region play. Meanwhile, Gordon Central falls to 10 and 11 on the season, 3 and 8, and their losing streak is extended to 3 games. And uh, man, wow. Now we're going to run down the scoring from that exciting game. We're going to start with Gordon Central. They'd pick up one point from Seth Haygood. They would have 11 points from Mac McDaniel, five for Logan Curtis, eight for Amir Harrison, two points for Tyler Hedges, three points for Peyton Chastain. Their leading scorer tonight with 15 was DJ Fleetwood. That should add up to their 47 points. Then meanwhile, for the model Blue Devils, five points for Jaden Haynes, six for Stevie Dallas, all six of them in the fourth quarter including four made free throws in a row that really helped model seal the victory here tonight. 
Six points for Noah Travis. Two made threes in the third quarter. Those were the only three-point shots made in the game for the Blue Devils tonight. So it was a rare night where they just didn't have a great shooting night tonight. Chase Allen would pick up five points in the ball game. 15 points for Jeremiah Sir. And the leading score for the Blue Devils tonight with a great game, Jaquinas Hurd would pick up 18 points. And all of that should total up to the Blue Devils. 54 points to Gordon Central's 47. And Model comes away with the victory. And again, it's just like we talked about a couple of times throughout the game. It was just one of those games where Model was having a hard time getting the lid off the basket. Didn't shoot well from the perimeter. Just kind of had a cold night overall in terms of their shooting. But at the end of the day, they found a way to get it done and they come away with the victory 54 to 47 and it turns out to be a successful sweep for the model blue devils over gordon central tonight from the jv game all the way through the varsity girls game and then the boys game so a happy senior a happy ending to senior night uh, definitely want to take one more time to recognize the seniors from both teams uh, for the girls of course you have morgan wood tamaya ragland addison cantrell and then uh, Caroline Goss, the manager of the team for the boys. In terms of seniors, you have Camden Oswald, Bo Couch, Jaquinas Hurd, Jack Robinson, Joey Samples, and then their managers, Colton Binion and Caden Downs. Well, that's going to put a wrap on our broadcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Next broadcast is going to be coming up on Tuesday from Rotmart. Girls at 6, boys at 7.30. Model wins it. 54-47, to 47, your final score. For Lynn Butler back at the studio and the video crew, I'm Matt Davis saying so long, everybody. Everybody, I hope you have a great evening, and go Blue Devils. Good night.